Okay, in this problem, we're asked to calculate the iterated integral. Uh, the first integral is from 0 to e to the y of x dz. And then we're going to integrate that from 0 to ln x with respect to y. And then finally, integrate from negative 1 to 1 dx. Um, so first, we can split this up into three integrals. The first of which is the integral from 0 to e to the y of x, e to the, or x dz. So the integral of x with respect to z is a constant. So the constant um, integrated is just x times z. So we have x times z evaluated from 0 to e to the y. Which is x e to the y minus 0. So just x e to the y. So we can go ahead and write this integral as the integral from negative 1 to 1, and then the integral from 0 to ln x of x e to the y dy dx. So we're going to take the integral from 0 to ln x of x e to the y dy. So we get the integral from 0 to ln x of x e to the y. x is a constant, so since we're integrating with respect to y, so we can bring that out. So we have the integral of e to the y dy, which is just x e to the y. And we're going to evaluate that from 0 to ln, ln y. And Oh, sorry, this is some reason I changed very recently to ln y when it should be ln x. So we're going to evaluate from 0 to ln x. And so when we do so, we get x times e to the ln x minus x e to the 0 e to the natural log of x is equal to just x. So we have x squared minus x times e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1, so we have minus x. So we have one more integral to compute, which is the integral from 0 to negative 1 to 1 of x squared minus x. And we're going to integrate with respect to x. So we have the integral of, of uh, difference is the difference of integrals. So we can take the integral of x squared, which is x cubed over 3. And then the integral of minus x is minus minus x squared over 2. And we're evaluating this from negative 1 to 1. So we can go ahead and plug in our values. And we get one third minus one half minus the quantity neg negative one third minus one half. So this turns, so if we distribute the negative sign, we get plus one third plus one half. 
So one third plus one third is two thirds. Negative one half plus one half is zero. So our iterated integral is equal to the value of two thirds.